Morning everybody, I'm John Ferris, one of the uh, consultants on, with the Great North Air Ambulance uh, and today I'm in my other job as a, an A&E consultant at West Cumberland Hospital. So come with me and I'll show you what an average day looks like. Okay, so after handover in the morning we'll have a quick walk around the department and a look at all the patients who are in and make sure that nobody needs anything doing or any intervention straight away. And then the next part of the day is to do our soft tissue clinic, which is a small clinic in the morning where we see patients back who've had nasty injuries, wounds and burns uh, to the skin uh, to make sure that they're healing up and they don't need to see a specialist at any of the other hospitals uh, who we work with in Newcastle. So the great thing about working in accident and emergency is no two days are ever the same. Uh, we finished the clinic in the morning and we're now on to looking after the department and seeing the patients who come in and supervising our team of doctors and nurses. We've seen some patients with minor injuries, broken wrists, injuries to their fingers. and We've seen some children. Uh, we've seen a young girl who, who may have had a strange type of seizure that, that needs to be investigated. So the skill is to be able to switch between people in their 80s and 90s and then back to very young children and that's, uh, that's all part of the day's work for us. My job with North Cumbria Integrated Care NHS Trust involves working both as an emergency medicine consultant and as a pre-hospital consultant on the Great North Air Ambulance. It's actually a great partnership between these two organisations um, and they allow a clinician with a set of skills um, that complement each, each of the job. Working remotely in a very small hospital requires you to have a fairly broad range of skills of treating anything that comes through the door and the links with the helicopter in terms of our hospital uh, gaining support from the helicopter to move our very injured patients is a great collaboration and, and one really that's great for the staff in the hospital and also the, the local patients in our area. So it's early afternoon in the emergency department now and uh, we're getting busier. There's large numbers of patients coming in, uh, quite unwell, fairly complex. Um, the, the role of the emergency consultant at this point now is sort of command and control, uh, making sure that the right patients are being seen in the right order, that we're identifying the patients who really need to be seen quickly, uh, and also keeping the decisions being made and patients coming into the hospital effectively and efficiently, not, make, not long delays, uh, and also looking for alternative pathways to allow people to go to other parts of the hospital where they don't necessarily need to be in the emergency department. So this is our ambulance information system here. Um, this is our red phone for emergency standby. So if we get a critically sick or injured patient, the, that ambulance control will be able to call us and give us the information ahead of the patient. Uh, this is our ambulance screen where we can see um, any ambulances inbound to the hospital with some codes there that give us a rough idea a little bit about what might be wrong with the patient and, and help us plan ahead to have room available and staff to meet the ambulance service. So we've had a relatively calm day so far, I'll try not to use that word in, in a &E too much, but um, so far everything's going to plan. Obviously that can all change in the blink of an eye if we uh, get a patient into our resuscitation bay. It doesn't always go well uh, in the ED and obviously sometimes we can be in a situation where we're giving people, families the worst possible news. Uh, obviously that's not one of the parts of the job that we look forward to doing but looking after families and relatives is in some ways even more important than looking after patients. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed having a look around the department and seeing a little bit of what we do. Um, I hope that's been useful for you.